I'm going to make a video to show you how to make the earrings for uh, the pendant necklace. Now we're using a two inch 22 gauge head pin. I'm using sterling silver, but you can use whatever suits you. And I begin with an eight millimeter picture jasper bead. Just put that on there. Then an eight millimeter silver bead. And you can make this as long or as short as you like. You might only like the two beads and stop there. It's entirely up to you. Then I go to the six millimeter bead and six millimeter silver bead. Where did I put those? I thought I had them. Found them. I put them. Six millimeter silver bead. Put the rest in there. Put that on. And then for my earrings, I'm choosing to follow up with a four millimeter picture jasper bead. And get, get it to pick up. And a four millimeter silver bead. And I'm going to stop it there. Then I'm going to take my round nosed grips and again put the wire back a bit. Just put it back a bit like so and then go up just a bit further, see if I can get it weak, and start a loop because you want the loop to start going round, which is why you put it back so that you can make a loop more successfully. You want a loop that will close. Now, as you can see it closing, then you want to put your earring, you want to put it through that hoop. And then the final bit is a tiny bit tricky, but not too bad. You're almost going to straighten that up a little bit, the loop. So you've got to keep that earring out of the way. That's where it gets tricky. And you want to bring the end of the wire to a close. Someone came to the door. Okay. Again, as you can see, we've got this loop. As you can see where we brought it back so that we could bring it round to a loop. And you'll see why once it's completed. Now we put this loop for the earring. Find where the camera is. Put the loop for the earring back through. And then let's get back to work bringing this wire down. You're still going to work it at the same time that you're working it around. You're almost bringing the back here where you've brought it backwards. As you can see, as you can see, you're almost bringing it a bit straighter. 
that is the natural thing that happens when you're bending the wire down for the loop, which is why we do that. So still keep bringing the wire round and you'll have a closed loop. And keeping it shaped, bring the bottom closed. Now I'll straighten it up a bit and see if I can get you to see what I mean. Okay, so once you get it on the earring, you have a closed loop. Whatever little bit of extra wire you have, I think you can see that little bit sticking out. Get these trusty nippers. And the reason they're important is because you can cut, is because you can cut very close lines like that. Well, the earring is important to cooperate. Everything else is the easy bit. It's the finishing that can be the difficult bit. And I don't understand why this thing isn't. I couldn't quite see what I was doing. Now, you can take that tiny little bit, let me turn it towards you. I think you can see that there's a tiny little length of wire. See it? I think if you can just see it. And because it's so close, you can take your little nippers very close to the silver bead and just put it up close to that wire and nip off the little tip, which makes it a perfect close. Now what you want to do is take the nippers again and just put them on the loop of the wire and give it a good squeeze to press the end flat. And then that's when you get to adjust the angle. Another thing about silver, it's so easy to work. So now that you've got it perfectly lined up. I want to hang this so that you can see it. Yeah, you can see that. Now that you can, now that you have it all perfectly lined up, you can see that it's not wonky anymore. Hangs beautifully. And there's your earring. So that those with it's the same as with the necklace. The closing bits are the tricky bits, but the rest of it is quite easy. So you'll actually enjoy designing and making your own earrings. And the thing about knowing how to make that hook means that you can just make whatever you like. And what I'm going to show in other videos is how you can actually make loop earrings, because I have some which are like that. And they're not that difficult either. And you'll need wire protectors for those, just like with the necklace, but I'll show you all of that. And then you can just do whatever you like and you have an earring. You can make it as long as you like, as short as you like, and with whatever beads you like. 
So I hope this was enjoyable.